Adventure Van Ex Expo, and I got some stuff here I think you guys are going to want to see. Check it out. I got Tom here. So tell us what you got, man. Um, so basically, we imported European products um, to the U.S. We have flooring systems over there, which we can kind of go in detail over there a little bit better. Okay. And um, we have this kitchen unit that kind of folds up. Um, so this is basically what you'll have left over. So it starts off as a little tiny box, yeah. and then it transforms into, into this, this yeah, what you see you here. Have, you have different options over here. You can put cooktops over here. We have cutting boards, the collapsible sink, um, whatever you need. And everything that I see is what comes when you buy it? Um, well, there's different options. Of course, you can buy it with the cooker, but if you already have one, you mm -hmm. don't have to buy it. Okay. Very nice. That's cool. I like that. So it keeps things very organized. Yeah. and easy to stow yeah it's nice if you have a van that you want to use for work as well so you don't have uh -huh. to put the kitchen for like the weekend you just put it in the back and ready to go um i got a strange question for you so when it's all folded up in its yeah. traveling configuration does it bolt down to to anything or is it um, just well storage? you can come over here so mm -hmm. it doesn't really fly around that much okay um, we have a special well not special floor, but this floor is kind of like it doesn't fly a lot oh i see um but technically and without floor you could use the rail to kind of tie the it down check yeah um so you could use that to tie it down as well okay and this is your guys's product as well yeah so yeah. this floor is crash tested in the u.s um you can configure it however you want so in this van we have two seats on the side um, but you could also have two tracks over here, two tracks over here, and have the middle aisle. Okay, nice, nice. Um, the table is obviously yours as well. The table is from a friend of ours. Oh. Um, but yeah, we like it a lot, so the display as well. Gotcha, that is a nice, nice table. Yeah, it moves up and down to three different heights. And then the chairs, the chair they, they can buy these the chairs from you guys as well? Well, the chairs come with oh, this they table, come. so oh, okay. it's also from a company called um, Cobia. Nice, nice. So, can you point out some uh, things in here? What yeah, you got so going on here? The most obvious thing is obviously the rooftop tent. Um, that's a new product from us this year. Oh, here, let's back up um, and see if we can get it. Yeah, yeah I think you can kind of see it. There we go. Oh, wait a minute. So, that rooftop tent is a part of the van. Yeah, we basically, the roof cutout is the only cutout that's there, and the rest is glued on. Oh, that's cool. It's like a Westphalia back, you know, back in the old days. Yeah. yeah from SCA. It's from Germany as well. Uh-huh. Very nice. I like that. Okay. By the way, is that a bathroom? Yeah. Oh, wow. Let me just open up. Very few of these uh, RVs of this size yeah, we have sell, a bathroom. We the box as well. I forgot to mention that. Oh, ah, look at that. So they actually have an actual bathroom. This is rare, guys, in the uh, camper van realm to have a full bathroom like that. So I'm assuming that's a cassette, right? Yeah. In the bed. Yeah. So you could just take the cassette out and empty it at any bathroom. That's cool. And it's a wet bath, so you can take a shower too. Now, can you make this a closet as well or no? Um, no, this is still a Just a shower and a toilet. Okay. Very nice. It doesn't take up too much space either. Very cool. All right, let's poke our heads up here. So here's a look at the, uh, I guess you call this a pop top sleeping area. Oh, that's nice. My kids would love that. <laughs> and here's something I notice: Vent, vent, vent on all three sides. And you have a skylight that you can open. So you can actually pop the uh, window open too. So you got a lot of airflow in here. That's nice. Uh, is there any power in there at all? There's none. So you just have to either yeah, plug in down yeah, here, somewhere around lamp, here. It's from the the one we showed you in the trailer. Oh, actually yeah. It actually has a USB port. You can kind of see it over here. Oh, I so see. It yeah. So this is the lamp part. And then it also has the USB that you can just plug Okay. In so if you're up here and you want to charge your phone you just put your wire over here yeah, you and you put your phone over here it's like a nice just little lay it right over there oh yeah it's like a shelf yeah yeah very cool 
Are there any lights up there? Like you um, could probably just put a puck light, huh? Yeah, you could put that, but just, we don't have any lights there. Yeah, there's no there's just no this, power at all. Yeah, just yeah. got the shell over it. Mm -hmm. It's just so thin. Yeah. It's stable, but you, it's just yeah. not meant for to, to put things in or Yeah, you can't it. screw yeah. anything. Now is that camper specific for the sprinter only? Um, this roof comes for the high roof sprinter, 2019 and newer, so the 2020 was as well. Oh, okay. Um, we have a roof for the ProMaster as well, uh -huh. and for the Metris, so the smaller oh, one. Is yeah, the smaller one. Yeah. So I'm assuming basically how it works is I take it to a builder and then he orders the parts from yes. you so we have to have a it installed. Network of installers for the floor and the roof. Mm -hmm. um, so we would have to figure out wherever you live, what's the closest installer to your location. Oh, okay, okay, because I really like that. That's awesome. You know, a lot of these vans, they don't have um, a lot of space for yeah. four people. Yeah, we're so you got... people, but, <laughs> people there, so. but with that setup, you have basically um, a two-story uh, apartment. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. I love it. What else? Um, we have the so you can kind of see the flooring system a little better over here. Mm -hmm. So you have two tracks with the crash-tested seats. Um, so they they're quick release legs. You have to pull the le red um, levers back, mm -hmm. and it releases, and you can slide them forward wherever you so need. So basically, modular wherever you want to put it, yeah. you can move it around. Yeah, we press test it in, in nine different positions, so you can really move it around and have a lot of flexibility. Nice, I like that. Um, and then we have the window covers. Um, you can kind of see them over here. I can kind of explain it. So we have the more traditional way, I would call it, with the old-fashioned reflective on the top. Um, but most of our stuff now has the reflective layer behind the black thing so it doesn't show as much in the window so you I can kind of like have a more dark it's more like a stealth yeah and there's yeah. seven layers insulated as well mm -hmm. and it has suction cups that it just sticks on the window nice the very, very nice okay cool and then we also do lights we can kind of show that to you in the trail over there They're okay somewhere. look at this they got a nice little demo area here So we have the tire system, um, they're quick release valves, so you just have to kind of pull them off and then you can throw them in this and when you need it. Um, yeah, there is, like, oh, we don't have it on display right now, but basically you would select what tire pressure you have and then you could connect it to all four or six tires, whatever you have, at the same time. Oh, and it's like a central tire yeah, so inflation. You choose the tire pressure, you can air down or air up, whatever you need, uh -huh. and then you connect it to all your tires and it goes at the same time. At the same time, that's cool, I like that. And this would be mounted like in your fender well or something? Well, whatever, okay, so wherever you want. You mostly really, use huh? them. Um, in our in like big off-road trucks like uh -huh. uh, Stuart Stevenson's and they uh -huh. would there's a lot of space for the sprinter we would mount them there as well uh -huh. um, and then I have a picture over here where you can kind of see uh, no no all gone yeah so this is kind of like this is the central mounting system where you choose your tire pressure mm -hmm. that's all the different valves for different uh, sizes and oh, then you I just mount them and then mounted on the bumper. Yeah, yeah this on this oh. specific truck. Yeah, I think it's a G wagon, so yeah. there's not a lot of space in the. Yeah. yeah, but essentially you can mount it anywhere you can fit it, right? Yeah. yeah so cool. we have to figure out where the best spot for your van or vehicle is. Nice, nice. Yeah, and then we obviously so the flooring system over here. We can kind of see more in detail. Can um, you demonstrate how those chairs? How easily you can yeah. lock and unlock them? Sure. All right, so if you guys are wondering how you move these chairs, so check it out. You have to move up, and you pull this back. Same on this side. And then you can just slide it forward. Oh. Basically, just like the, uh, like an airplane. It's yeah. like an airplane. Yeah. Yeah. So there's rolls on this well, so it's really easy to move, move it where you want. Yeah, so when you have space, you just have to kind of see if the front is light. See, there you go, now it's in. And then it just set the switch back forward. Very cool. And you said these are crash tested as yes. well. So that's important. It's nice yes. and safe. Yeah, we wanted a safe product. There's a lot of products that just bolt through the floor. Mm -hmm. And that's obviously not the safest way. So this one is really, so the floor, this floor is what you will get if you order one. So it's full aluminum and you glue it onto the van itself. And then you have a nice soft mounting surface for your seat. Nice. Yeah, yeah it's padded. Yeah, this one, this one is, uh, is called Two Tech Two. It's a uh, ribbon vinyl from Belgium. It has like a sound deadening material under it, so it keeps oh, the road noise. Sound deadening too. Nice. Yeah, so it keeps the the, the road noise. And I, I noticed your seats. Yeah. Um, I interviewed Shiel Mann. Yeah. At uh, Overland Expo last yeah, year. Important. Yeah, we have. Yeah. We, 
like those are our seats that come with the floor. Uh -huh. But some customers want more comfortable seats, uh -huh. and then we develop with them a little seat plate that mounts to our smart legs. Uh -huh. So they cool. you buy the seats from Shieldman, and then we could have like the mounting surface for it with the seats, uh, with the seat base. So we have. A, so we yeah, if you, as well. you guys watching this video, um, if you're wondering what the big deal is about Shioman, they make really comfortable seats on vehicles that go all around the globe. Click the link below. I'll put a video uh, link to my interview with those guys. Yeah, you really have to sit in them to feel. Yeah, them. yeah, they're amazing. They're amazing. Yeah. Cool. Um, let's yeah, let's go look. Um, let's start with the lights. Um, they're aluminum body, so they don't get as hot. Um, the LED lights obviously so they don't, don't get hot anyway, mm -hmm. but this really keeps their heat to almost nothing. Mm -hmm. um, there's different uh, uh, different versions of it. This one has an external switch, so you could just turn it off with a switch in your van. Mm -hmm. You could externally dim it as well. So let's dim this. So it goes up. Or and down. Goes down. Oh. And then we also have lights that have the switches on the lights. So if you just want like in one specific part of your van, mm -hmm. And this one also dims as well, so this one also dims down. And then we also have the dual light, which has red and white, and also dimmable. Oh, cool. And we have gooseneck lights, so for like reading, if you want to have like one over your bed, you can kind of mm -hmm. move around for the best position. Um, under cabinet lights, so for under cabinets, mm -hmm. this one is an outdoor light that we put on the outside of the van. Um, this one's kind of the newer product, it has like a little slight angle to it. So you mount it like this, oh. and then the light goes out. I Damn. think it's 10 to 12 feet okay. outside of the van. So basically it illuminates the ground. Yeah, yeah. so like yeah. outside the van, you sit outside. Yeah, this yeah. one has three different. It has a warm white, which is this white. It has cold white. Oh, it's in this up a little bit. So this one's a lot colder and brighter. Uh -huh. So like for workspace. This one's more like living area. So this one does both cold, war uh, warm, cold, and like an amber type mm -hmm. light. Um, so there's different versions for what you need. And they come in different colors too? Yeah, this one's black. For example, and yeah. this traditional silver. Very cool. Yeah. Nice. And then we also have water filtration systems, different sizes. This one's the biggest, has four filters in it. Um, we use them in the big van, in the big trucks like this. Oh yeah, Because there's big guys. tanks in there, so you need a lot of water to go through. Yeah. It doesn't make it cleaner, it just makes it go faster. <laughs> um, so yeah. this one will have the same clean water that comes out of this one. It uh -huh. just takes a long time to get through. So like if you have a smaller tank, that will totally be enough. Gotcha. And Very we fun. have carbon and ceramic filters. And this one's kind of like the set that you would, this part just goes, go in a river or lake, whatever. Oh, wow. So this is like the portable this version. Is, yeah, this is like the whole set that you would need. This one, if you have a pump already, you just buy the filter. Oh, you I gotcha. You just want to have like all of it together. It comes with the box as well. So oh, nice I like this. This is nice. Yeah, and then the pump as well. And then obviously your connection to your tank. Oh, I'm gonna have to get this for my trip. Well, I'm buying a Tundra here pretty soon. Okay. Yeah. And I need a water system. When you go camping in remote areas, you just throw that in the river. Yeah. Just throw that in the lake or river, whatever, and it purifies it for you. Yeah, you can, there's obviously different That's sizes. That's cool. You probably, I don't know how big your water tank is, but Mm -hmm. There's different sizes, so I mean. yeah, just different sizes, and then obviously that's the price right that's there. The huh? price for the box here. The small one starts at five fifty nine. Uh -huh. The double one seven ninety nine, and this one is one thousand three hundred ninety nine. So if you guys are looking at this, eyeing this, going, I want that. Basically twenty one ninety nine US. That's cool. All one portable pack package. Yeah. Very cool. What else do you got? What are these? Um, well, as I told you before, we build the boxes for like the trucks. So we build custom boxes in Germany. Mm -hmm. um, you can decide where your windows go, you can decide whatever. And these are basically oh. from outbound, they're also from Germany. Um, just a variety of windows. I've never boxes. seen these before. Yeah, these usually go in big old trucks like that. Okay, can you show me what it looks like when yeah, you open them? That's interesting. Like that. So it really fits in like 60 millimeter walls. Uh huh. That's why it's kind of hard to fit it in the van. But gotcha. It's more like for the bigger, the bigger yeah. vehicles, yeah. All right. I'm assuming they're dual pane. Yeah. They're, they're, they're real glass pane windows. Um. So it, it really insulates your van mm -hmm. for dropping. And then space. you could pop them out if yeah. it's raining. Okay. If it's raining, you can still open the window, huh? Yeah. <laughs> they're all locked. Sorry, guys. But you get the point. You could open this up and let air in, even when it's raining. Yeah. Yeah, very cool. And of course it has a screen too, right? Yeah. yeah. Very cool. All right. Is that everything? Uh, 
I think so, yeah. I think so. All right, so let's end this with a website if people want to learn more. What's your website? www.re-global.com. And there's all the products you see over there and also the email address. So if you want to check out the website and then just give us an email if you have something, have more questions about something. Um, but I hope I covered everything. Yeah. There you go, guys. It's always interesting to learn about new products. These guys are out of Europe. Obviously, they've been doing this for a very long time, going to North Africa and all those uh, expeditions. And uh, yeah, check them out.